Sometimes people will notice too, when we talk about losing weight, that they're getting a lot weaker. And this can be extremely annoying because you are putting so much time into the gym and you just feel like, why am I even doing this when I'm trying to lose weight, but I'm feeling weaker and more tired. So what's going on here? Are you doing something wrong? Well, what happens when you lose weight, you lose two different things. Uh, you lose more than these things, but we're just gonna simplify it for these cases. Um, you're gonna lose fat. That's obviously the idea of most people trying to lose weight. But something you might not realize is that you are actually going to be losing a little bit of muscle as well. You can't unfortunately just lose fat when you are doing a cut. And a lot of times when we're looking at kind of research of how much muscle people are maintaining or how much muscle people are losing on a cut, usually if you're doing it properly, um, you are going to lose about 66% of your body weight when you lose a pound of body weight is going to be from fat. So that means 33% are still a third of the body weight is coming from muscle. And that's if you do it properly. A lot of people might not do it completely properly, so you might be erring on 50% of that body weight is from muscle and 50% is from fat. You can't just lose fat, unfortunately. The rate you lose these two things is based off of a few different conditions. Uh, usually the lifting program or the type of um, resistance training you're doing will dictate how much muscle you will lose uh, when you are losing weight. Your protein intake will dictate how much muscle you will lose when you're losing weight or maintain, I should say. Um, uh, in addition to that, your uh, calorie deficit if that is too large, you are also going to get much weaker and lose a lot of muscle in addition to that weight, the fat, the stuff we're trying to get rid of. So those three things all considered together are things we can manipulate to try to help you to not become as weak when losing weight. So when we're trying to minimize muscle and strength loss, hitting the muscle two to three times a week, ideally 10 is a minimum. I try to get up to 20, even uh, maybe 25 sets, but probably 15 to 20 sets is gonna be your sweet spot if you're cutting because you might not have as much energy and capacity to recover. Um, hitting each muscle two to three times a week will greatly increase the muscle protein um, synthesis from the weight training session. So that's important as we discussed. So trying to get that minimal threshold, that will help you to stay nice and strong. Protein, one gram per pound of body weight minimum. I would definitely recommend trying to get maybe even a little more protein uh, on a cut if you're able to, if you're able to tolerate and eat all that because protein is muscle sparing. So the more you eat of it, when you're on that cut, it's going to say, hey, we, we are wanting to keep this muscle and we're gonna use this towards building the muscle or maintaining that muscle. So it essentially goes straight towards that muscle. So more protein. Um, and then when you're looking at your calorie deficit, make sure you are not doing too much of a deficit. So a lot of times people, what will happen is they will do a super big deficit right off the bat and they get so weaker. They lose some body fat, they lose some weight, but they get so weaker because they've lost so much muscle from that huge deficit. Instead, I'd recommend doing a 500 calorie deficit at the highest um, load, okay? If you're really advanced, you might be able to get away with a little bit more of a deficit, but 500 calories, if you have time, and if you don't need to cut for like a wedding or something really important coming up, maybe even doing a two to 300 calorie deficit is a better idea from your maintenance calories. That is going to 
greatly, greatly, greatly decrease the overall amount of muscle and strength you will lose on a cut. And if you're curious about maintain, uh, maintaining weight, maintenance calories, all these different calories, I have a uh, podcast actually um, on my channel. I created all about the ins and outs of calorie counting, so you can check that out. Uh, just go check out uh, the Become All Strong podcast on our channel, um, and then all those videos will show up. And uh, maybe you'll see some other ones you like in there too, uh, and get you nice and fit and strong regardless of your abilities. Last thing you can do, focus on that sleep and hydration, all those other things and aspects of fitness um, to help you recover, stress management. These are huge things that cannot be um, underestimated in keeping you strong when losing weight. So remember too that getting weaker is a little bit of normal, um, but trying to maintain strength the best as possible is going to be your best idea. Um, going as hard as you can into the gym and pushing your muscles, even if you're not fully feeling it, that is going to be the key and the ticket to getting you to keep your strength when you lose weight. So go ahead, drop a like if that gave you some good value and guidance if you're feeling this way in the gym 